Hey guys, I'm Oxy, and today we're gonna talk about the Hunting Rifle, yes. The Hunting Rifle is one of the most underrated weapon in Fallout 76, but today I'm gonna show you how good is the Hunting Rifle, I'm gonna show you Hunting Rifles that are working with low health, and also Hunting Rifles that are working perfectly with full health. So let's start with some gameplay. So we are at Westpac, but let's see first the weapons that we're gonna use today. So, I do have this one, which is a bloodied explosive hunting rifle with faster critical kill. It's a bloodied faster fire rate one, plus one agility. And the junk is explosive one, plus one agility. And also a non-legendary one. Now, well, I want to start with something very clearly. Let's take the bloodied one. 273 damage with all the rifleman perks, tank killer, concentrated fire. All the perks that we need to do more damage. Now, really important about the hunting rifle to be to make it extremely good is the speedy receiver. Now, we have speedy receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, swift magazine, short recon scope, and suppressor on each one of them. The only one that doesn't have it is this one. The non-legendary one, because this one have the hardened receiver. Now we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but let's start with some gameplay. Let's use the bloodied explosive one and see how good it is. We're going for headshots. The first shot obviously it's missed. Second shot. He retreat a little bit. Okay, let's go closer to him. And it's down. See? Damage does not register, looks like. You can feel it that we are in public server. Dago is one shot. Level 75. Dead. Can't one shot them, right? But we're doing extremely good damage. Look at that. With the hunting rifle. And we're getting also a bunch of criticals here. Nice. So, what did I want to show you this one first? Look at the reload on this thing. It's fast. It's fast. Now, look at this one, right? This one is the non-legendary one. Look at this. And now look at the legendary one. You see the difference? The faster reload. That's what you need to see. The faster reload. Look at this. Speedy receiver is making your hunting rifle to reload much more faster. Basically it's giving you more fire rate. It's saying fire rate 4 on that one. And on this one it's saying fire rate 3. Does make a difference. Because you're going to reload faster, and that's really important for the hunting rifle. I know with the harder receiver or prime, we can push much more damage, but with the speed receiver, as you did see in the start of the gameplay, we were just doing much more damage. Let's try this one. Look at that. They're not detecting us because it's a really stealthy weapon also. Really easy, really fast reload. Let's see where's the guy. Do we have one up here? Yes, we do have. Hey, hey, hey. Just gonna shoot you in the foot. Now you're footless. We leveled up, very nice. Look at that reload, that's what is matter. The reload. It's 
really making this weapon too shy. See? Hey, what are you doing? Mutant Carlator. Yay, one star. Look at that reload. That's insane reload. Okay. Let's use the Junkies explosive one. But there's a thing about the speed receiver. For example, right, it does work in first person, but if you switch to third person, you're gonna see. You see, it's not as fast. The reload is taking much more longer time. So, for example, I'm gonna shoot this super mutant. Okay, now I reload, and now I can shoot again. But if I switch this to first person, I shoot like this, and I can shoot again really fast. So you definitely need speed receiver, and also to use it in uh, first person. That's really helping. It's again like the Gauss Rifle, you can't really one-shot them. Probably if you would have an instigating explosive one, you could one-shot them. Sadly, I don't have that, but... Oh, we just missed that shot, and now it's dead. So usually the Hunting Rifle is extremely slow, extremely, extremely slow. But with the speed receiver, you boost that fire rate, you do good damage. Look at that, two shotting a level 100. That's really, really good. Look at this. Really good damage. And it's a really sneaky weapon also. Which is extremely beneficial for us. Let's go upstairs, kill more. Look at that. Reload. That's really, really fast. There you go. That. That. So most of the people are just obviously just gonna script this thing. A hunting rifle, even if it's a good roll one, but from now on you can see this thing. It's good. It's sitting in my face and it's not detecting me. That's just wonderful. So it is a really sneaky weapon. I mean, this is a sneak build also. It's actually my bow build, but I can do rifleman on it also. Easy peasy. Not a single issue. Okay. I think we are clear that we can kill super mutants and super mutants are tough. Now let's go and kill Swan with a hunting rifle. First, you know, sorry Dago, you need to go. And there should be one more here. There's a quantum over there, which I did see. Hey, give me that quantum. Okay, now we can go and kill uh, Swan. Now I put the recon scope on it because I think it's the best scope. Look at that aim. That's a really nice and clear aim. I love it much more. That's just the scope. This one it's a big boy. We're doing 277 damage. Do we have anything to buff ourselves? Do more damage? No, I don't have anything. Well, isn't that a shame? Or do I? Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. We're just gonna kill someone like this. Like, very important to be in a first person for the speed receiver to work. Hey, it's fun, critical, and does not register the damage. If you're in public server, yeah, I don't need to register my damage game, thank you. It's, it's fine like that, like, I really like it. You know. I don't need my damage to be registered. Anyway, we did kill him fast. Beside the lag, which does happen pretty often lately, just not registering my uh, damage. Okay, right, let's go and kill a Scorch Beast now. Okay, we are here, but looks like we have a nuke zone here. 
Oh, we are right at the edge. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's see what we can do. There's gonna be some creatures here, probably. But we need to look for a scorch uh, beast that we need to kill. This is a glowing one. Those are tough. Look at that. Eh, not that tough. A thousand damage. Lay down. Anybody else? Stay down. Hey, stay down. Okay. Where is the score beast? Now she's summoning the minions. Come on, Scorpius, don't be a cunt. Okay, we one shot the minion. Really? Okay, she doesn't want to fight us. That that's extremely annoying. And now she's going away. Well, do I need to bother myself now to find another Scorpius? Because honestly, I don't really want to. There's a 3 star. And she's gonna give me... Medics? First a revolver with bats, create a faster reload. Actually, you know what? That's a really good roll for a western revolver. Bats create medics to heal you. Also, faster reload on that thing that have the slowest reload ever. What's that over there? I'm trying to get the score with attention, okay? Okay, come here, Scorch Beast, you're a legendary one also. Ech, I'm getting stuck in the tank. That's it. Woohoo. She's getting angry. Doing some decent damage on her. The DPS is definitely helping us now. The speed receiver. Critical. Let's see if she's coming back or she's gonna go away again. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. She doesn't want to land at all. Trying to get close to his corpus, you know. Well, she was one tough scorpion. She just didn't want to land, didn't want to come close. But we got her. Am I going in the nuke zone? Yes, no, thank you. You can keep your one star crap. So, yeah, hunting rifle. Really good. Let's go and test the one with four. So now we are back with my full health rifleman build. Actually, this is lucky. My gas rifleman build. So what we're gonna test with full health is this one. Anti armor, Vatsy chance, 25 less AP cost per shot. Again, the same mod, speed receiver, for faster fire rate basically, to boost that DPS, align long battle, forceful stock. Swift magazine for faster reload, short recon scope, and suppressor, and the other one is this one. Instigating bats hit chance and faster reload. Let's start with uh, this one, the instigating one. We're gonna need to use it in first person because in third person it's just not working. Now let's see. Level 60 super mutant. I almost one shot him. Hey, 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 don't retreat. They did do the same thing with my... Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Uh, 
Now probably I'm in danger, so we're gonna go away. We're gonna regain our stealth. Real easy. Play down. So let's uh, regain easily our stealth. Since I don't have as much luck on this character, I can't spam as much criticals. Come on, Vats. Register my damage, please. You know, it's important for me. There you go. Now it's working. Let's try the anti-armor one. Blah, blah, blah. Super mutant. A big bad. You see, I just shot him and my damage does not register at all. That's that's really annoying. Server lag. Okay, let's continue. We're using the anti armor one right now. This one should be much more accurate. But they both of them have a VAT hit chance, so both of them should be should be good. Okay, let's do, go with this one. Nice. Just the instigating one. Now we don't have as high damage as we did have with the blooded one, as you can see. But uh, we still have decent damage. So I think that's enough. As you can see, two shot them. We did two shot them also with the with the blooded stuff. So. It's not gonna make as much difference. The game it's really don't want to let you to one shot everything these days. You can see almost one shot level 50. Just a slight just a little bit of health remain. He was in danger over there for a second. Easy cruise run, no issue. Now you can use it with aiming, of course. Also, so we're just gonna shoot him in the balls. Oh, I can shoot him in the balls. I shoot him in the ass. Okay. Ugh. Hey, don't run around. Come on. Don't have time for this. Doggo, we one shot the dog. Nice. Let's see the magic turret. Easy peasy. Right. Again, the same thing. Mostly two shotting, maybe one shotting things sometimes. So I think you get the idea of killing Super Mutant. Let's go and kill Swan now. Okay, we're just gonna shoot him with the instigating first. And after continue with the anti armor, would be really nice on instigating explosive one to do more damage. But I uh, sadly I don't have one, so maybe use what I have. Critical damage didn't register, so we waste the critical damage again. Didn't register. Thank you, server. And now barely registered anything because the servers are just really nice with us. Definitely not gonna be the fastest spawn kill ever. But it didn't detect us and it was pretty easy. You're not gonna break any DPS record again, floater grenades. I don't want them. So you're not gonna break any DPS record, that's for sure, but it's working, it's working really good and no dog food again. That is your fault, my friend. What's happening over there? The blood eagles have problems again? Okay, we're just gonna go and kill a scourge base now. So there is a couple of things that people are forgetting about Rifleman. Everybody's using a handmade because the fire rate is uh, pretty great on that one, right? Modded to be a Rifleman weapon or they're just using the lever action rifle because it's also really strong. 
But people forgot about the Gauss Rifle, so check my Gauss Rifle man build on this channel guys. And as you can see the hunting rifle it's actually good. You just really need to think which mods you want for it. Now that's core beast, it's far away. We're gonna try to get her close but... Legendary one, okay. We're getting a legendary today, it looks like. Actually, two score beast. Decent damage on her. There's coming the minions. That one is out of our range. There's she coming. There's the other one that landed. Okay, there's a bunch of them now. We're just gonna use a steam pack. Don't tell me that one is gonna... What is it? Did she land? Yeah, she landed. Wow, Scorpius, you are really classy, huh? Continue. Lay down. Okay, there is there is a lot of things right now here. She doesn't want to land, she doesn't want to do anything. You see, this is what I was talking about all the time. This is so shitty AI that they're just unreal, okay? This is the most shitty AI ever. Lay down. I right, we got that one. Still didn't get detected. Okay, that's a little bit too much radiation for my taste. Let's use a steam pack. Oh, I have so many steam packs on me, it looks like. Okay. Now we did kill pretty easy the regular Scorch Beast. Obviously, the legendary one you need to kill it two times, so that's not gonna take some, some time. Let's continue. Come on, Scorpius. Our AP is back. Yeah, finally you're done. It took you so much time. That one should be dead. That 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 lag it's unacceptable. Okay. Frame receiver. Yeah, you go there, please. Wonderful. So yeah, this is it guys. You can see that the hunting rifle is actually really good. Could be better at instigating explosive one would be pretty nice but the blooded explosive one was doing his job really good also the junkies explosive one now this character is not spec for junkies that's why i didn't use the junkies one on this one but that would definitely help the anti-armor instigating one also pretty good the only issue is when the score beast is not landing and keep going away but that's just shit ai other than that, it's a really solid rifleman weapon, does work to use it, especially in vats. So yeah, it's not just the gas rifle really good, it's also the hunting rifle really good. 
So if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, maybe subscribe, and obviously see you guys in the next video.